Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, yesterday, we did the uh, show on Marv Nation um, winning the Regis Pro Grace to uh, We want to get into another promoter, not a small promoter, but uh, Luda Bella winning the uh, Watsi Pascal purse bid, um, which you know is also intriguing because he outbid Eddie Hearn for it, right? So, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Please also follow our other channel, Quick Hits. I'm sorry, other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, all right, let's get into to today's show. Um, Boazzi and, and Pascal um, is the IBF eliminator. Ludabella won it for $975,000. He beat Eddie Hearn by $100,000. Eddie Hearn bid 875. Now, there's two thoughts for these, right? Um, and, and this isn't Marv Nation. This is not to that degree where Marv Nation goes out. It's a two point two and a half billion dollar, two point four, whatever it was, uh, million dollar bid on Progress of Peta and uh, beats PBC by double, doubles them up. Uh, but this is still interesting, right? Like, because Lou DiBella is a is a mid sized promoter. Um, you know, he doesn't really get his own TV dates. Uh, you know, he might get some showbox cards, right? But he doesn't have a, a contract with the zone or anything like that, or, or, or Fox, or, you know, um, he matches his fighters with, with uh, on other cards, Charles Conway, for example. Right. Um, so w- what's interesting about this is. Is are these smaller? And I'm not trying to call Lou DeBella a smaller promoter, but he's small compared to Eddie Hearn. Is he simply outbidding? You know, are, are, are they just going all in? Are they pricing? You know, uh, setting a, a a a really really high price where they're going to lose money? Are they setting themselves up to fail? Or like you know, Bawati versus Pascal looks like a fun fight on TV. It seems like a you know pretty fan friendly fight. We'll get into it a little bit. Um. But it's not a big money fight, right? And and you know, it's not a huge money fight. It's you know, a million dollar purse roughly total. Um, but you know, Eddie Hearn said eight seventy five, right? So it's not it's not worth a lot to Eddie Hearn. Can Debella make money on this? And again, what's his TV deal? Who's going to air this? Is this a show? I mean, who? It's an IBF title eliminator. So it, it, it's it's intriguing in to that degree. Um, but who's going to air this? My guess is Showtime, but I have absolutely no idea. Um, he starts to look at it like, how's he making money on this, right? Like, and, and this is, you know, the Marv Nason thing to a smaller degree. Um, I'm not getting it. Like it's fine. It's it's good. I I, I like to see him compete. I, I just want to know how they don't lose money on this, right? Like if you put out a million dollars and you lose a hundred grand, you've lost ten percent of your investment, right? I mean, you've lost one hundred and ten percent of your investment, right? I mean, yeah, you've lost ten percent of your investment, right? Um, that's a lot, right? You can't operate like that, and that's just the main event, right? You still have to get the venue, the undercard, you have the insurances. Travel, you have to expense all of that. Um, and I, I don't know how many people have that much intrigue in this fight. And again, it's a good fight. As for the fight, I'm definitely going to lean towards Boatsy. I don't want to say that Pascal is totally done. I never really liked Pasquale, uh, Pasquale, Pascal. 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 Jean Pascal. Really wide. Doesn't jab enough. Everything is wide. Hook. He's fast. He's got some pop. He's got good pop. 
Um, but I think it's a good boxer takes him apart, and 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 we've seen that. Um, you know, he fought not that long ago uh, on a pro box card, I guess it was, and he fought um, Fen Long Meng. Uh, took a decision, really, really fun fight, competitive fight. Took a close decision, uh, and then before that, he hadn't fought since 2019, um, in Atlanta, and that was the Tank Davis card, and he uh, outboxed Badu Jack again. It took a really, really close decision. And before that, um, he stopped Marcus Brown. Um, so, oh, it was a Marcus Brown was a technical decision. I'm sorry. So, I mean, he's not shot, or right? he's not done. Um, he lost. Comp- now nah, we're not competitive. Right? He got pretty dominated by Bavol, uh, but at, like, you know, he, he won three pretty impressive fights in a row. Um, he, he's 38 now. He's 39 now. Uh, Boatsy is obviously just coming to his prime. Originally from. Ac- Akragana, you know, great fighting country of Akragana. He's 29. Um, he's coming off the Richards win. Really, really, really good win um, against Craig Richards. Uh, he's got the Richard Blutniks win before that. Um, you know, I, 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 I want to see his power, right? He's got some knockouts. Uh, he, he knocked out Blutniks late. Um, and before that, he fought Daniel Blunder de Santos. Um, and stopped him in four in what was a really impressive one. And that was in May. Uh, yeah, May uh, of 2020. Was that Eddie's Garden? I, I think that might have been in Eddie's Garden. But he's got good wins. Uh, I, I don't know about his power, although he does have knockouts. I, I um, No, uh, the, the, the Santos fight was in um, Manchester Arena. Okay. The Blutniks fight was in Eddie's Garden. Okay. Um I think right now, Watsi is peaking. And I think you look through the landscape of the light heavyweight division. You have Better Beef. You have Bavol. And then, it, you know, Joe Smith looks shot. Like, it it, it, op- it gets pretty wide open pretty quickly. Marcus Brown, Anthony Yard. Um, he's going to be in the, you know, like I said, Pascal. He'll be Pascal. Cap- I guess I just showed my hand. Callum Smith, right? You, you you look at the division and you say, okay, Watsi is in the mix here. He's 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 in this. He's got a win over Richards, right? Um, he's in the conversation, and you you look at the age of of Bavall. He's not going to be, and, and I guess you have Gilberto Ramirez too. But he he's I, I don't know that Gilberto Ramirez beats him either. Um, so. I'm not saying the light heavyweight division isn't good. It's got a couple good buys, and it's got you know better beef and Bavol, so it's not a bad division at all. But I, I think Watsi outside of that matches up really nicely. I would like to see if why well, he's obviously going to get the the world title shot um, after this. You would think, right? Um, assuming he wins. I would just, if I could make a fight, I would really like to see him fight um, Joe Smith. Uh, he'll fight Better Beef. That's the one fight, you know, if it gets called, if it does happen, he'll fight Better Beef. If Better Beef doesn't vacate the belt, it will happen. Um, you know, Better Beef's only missing one belt. Can he get a Bavol fight, right? Because that would that would be for all the belts, and that would take precedence, you would think. Um, if that's the case, it, you know, the Richards fights, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Boatsy fights get gets pushed back, and then you know, better be at his age. If he unified all the belts at 75, don't you think he'd just vacate, right? So I don't know that he. What I'm saying is, if Boatsy wins, he's gonna get a title shot, whether it's at Better Be or if Better Be vacates that belt, and if that fight's not for a year from now, who knows. Right, but he's going to get that title shot eventually. Should he win this fight, um, so it's an intriguing fight. I, I like watching stylistically. He's a good boxer puncher. I, again, I want to see his power really tested. Like he's got a good knockout ratio, but I'm not 100 percent sold on his power. I, I want to see him in there with top guys. If he can, can he can he drop? Can he damage? Can he hurt Pascal? And I, I don't think Pascal is done. I want to see how it's because Pascal can hit. Can he stand up to Pascal? Right. Does he out? Does he does he just simply outbox Pascal, or do they sit and, and change? It looks like it should be a fan friendly fight, so I'm into it. Um, but I ultimately think like right now, Bawati's peaking. 
Um, I think he's a top four or five guy in the weight class. I don't see that with Pascal, even though I don't think it's the best weight class. I still put him in, you know, in the top ten, but closer to ten than five. Um, so I, I think it's a competitive fight, but I think Watsy probably wins it on points or maybe gets a late stoppage. Um, and again, I, I want to see his pound. I want to see how he holds up. I think this is a good a gauge fight for Watsy. Right, he should win it. Uh, does anyone take Pascal? Pascal, I keep doing that. Does anyone take Pascal? Um, I, I think it's hard to it's hard to pick him to win. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, and again, Lou DiBella outbidding Eddie Hearn. What does that mean? Does it mean anything? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Leave, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, I'm sorry. Three Boxing Blog Quick Hits comes at you every day. Eight to ten minutes a day. Um, please subscribe to our other channel as well. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is August 31st. It is my birthday. I'm 39 years old today. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.